Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In the name of Allah, who is the most beneficent and the most merciful. Today we will discuss about the osteomyelitis. What is the osteomyelitis? Osteo means the bone, myelitis means the myelin means bone marrow, and itis means inflammation. Inflammation of the bone and the bone marrow is called as the osteomyelitis. In this case, we will discuss about the case presentation, its lab values, its X-ray, CT scan, then the cause of the uh, osteomyelitis what is the cause of the osteomyelitis when what is the possible treatment we will cover all these in this uh, lecture uh, hello my name is dr fakhar hayat you are watching our youtube channel medicos fever thanks to assistant professor dr sara and dr akif ali and now we are presenting the case firstly a 57 year old man this is the old age and the diabetic Firstly, diabetic since 10 years using insulin for sugar control. He is using insulin for sugar control and uh, presented in the medical OPD uh, with fever, chills and the malaise. Fevers, chills and malaise means there is a restlessness and he cannot work more and more. From the last 7 days, if it is from the last 7 days, mainly this is presented of the acute form. We have uh, discuss in the last seven days if it's previously uh, seven days then it's a acute form and mark intense pair over left shin at the same time he is a chronic ulcer over his the leg if it is a chronic ulcer over his leg then you may pursue to the uh, osteomyelitis just above the medial malleolus without the healing then laboratory investigation HB level is the normal and the total leukocyte count TLC. If TLC count is the, if mainly it is 4000 uh, to uh, 11000, but it is greater than the 11000, it's 15600 uh, millimeter cube. It means the total leukocyte count is increased. ESR is also increased, it's mainly less than 50. Uh, and CRP, C reactive protein, is also normal, but uh, hepatite, uh, sorry, hemoglobin A1C. Hemoglobin A1C is 8. It means the patient is the diabetic. Because in the case we have the diabetic patient and mainly normal value is less than 5.6. But it is greater, greater than 5.6. It mainly the 8. It is the diabetic patient. X-ray left leg performed in the medical uh, OPD. This is the X-ray. Here the x-ray of the mainly uh, I want to discuss the x-ray this is mainly the tibia and this is the fibula and this is the knee joint and this is mainly the foot area of the foot and there is the necrosis here you want to see the necrosis and the bone dissolving the bone and the uh, infection in the bone and the bone marrow in the x-ray leg it is the most important presentation. What is the question maybe what is the most likely diagnosis it mainly due to uh, the diabetes we will discuss in later on diabetes and mainly what causes of the organism causes inflammation uh, now the most important we are discussing its pathology and we are discussing how it's the main what is the osteomyelitis osteomyelitis is the progressive infection of the bone and bone marrow osteobone and the myelin mean bone marrow it is inflammation infection of the uh, inflammation of the bone and the bone marrow is called as the osteomyelitis inflammatory destruction of the bone bone necrosis and the bone new bone formation which is a critical point is a new bone formation it may be caused by viruses fungi protozoa and the bacteria its most common site and the roots mainly usually occurs in children most common bacteria arise as the hematogenous spread. Hematogenous is mainly due to the blood. Due to the blood, it is called as the hematogenous spread. Uh, this is the transient bacteria, bacteremia in children sees metaphases. Why it called metaphases, we will discuss later on. This is the bacteremia in the children. But in the adult, it mainly lie on the epiphases area. Here we are discussing about the normal anatomy of the bone. This is the articular cartilage. This is the epiphyseal line. This part is the epiphysis. This is mainly uh, the bone of the young. This is epiphysis and this is the diaphysis. This is diaphysis. 
but metaphysis is absent in the uh, young person but in case of the children uh, metaphysis area is present and infection occurs here this area metaphysis that's why uh, the infection in the children occurs in the metaphysis area which is the most important mcus and the clinical uh, you may know the differentiation between children and the uh, adults infection in the metaphysis but in case of the youngs it occurs in the epiphyseal area pyogenic osteomyelitis pyogenic means pus producing uh, osteomyelitis develops there is a large inoculation of the pathogen large inoculation more and more pathogen presence of the damaged bone presence of the prosthetic material uh, i want to discuss it mainly due to the hematogenous spread due to blood extension from the cartilage side this is the cartilage here and uh, infection from the cartilage side or direct implantation of the pathogens classification of the osteomyelitis mainly because of the uh, we are discussing about the duration of the illness if it's mainly uh, acute or the chronic acute mainly uh, less than 6 months and the chronic may be uh, greater than 6 months in cases of the acute uh, osteomyelitis firstly we will discuss acute osteomyelitis acute osteomyelitis is the sporative infection why it's called sporative because of the pus formation of the bone and the bone marrow accompanied by uh, edema vascular congestion and the small vessel thrombosis mainly what are the pathogens firstly it is the staphylococcus aureus why it is the staphylococcus aureus because it is present in our skin area and firstly it comes through the skin infection that's why 90 90% cancer is the staph aureus cpc nazaria gonorrhea in sexually active young adults salmonella the most important is the salmonella if a patient is of the sickle cell disease sickle cell disease then uh, the chances of the pathogen may be salmonella but in our case the patient was a diabetic then we are moving toward the pseudomonas then the iv drug is the pseudomonas and clebsiella but uh, in our case it is a diabetic then well, we will move toward the pseudomonas this is the uh, pasturella with the cat or dog bite uh, the most important is the myobacterium tuberculosis myobacterium tuberculosis usually involves the vertebra if it involves the vertebra then disease is called as the pod disease which is the usmla mcq if myobacterium tuberculosis uh, occurs and the infection causes on the vertebra this is called as the pods disease here it is the pods disease hemophilus influenza and group b streptococcus in the neonatal age group uh, neonatal and mainly the pathogenesis is mainly multifactorial many causes important factor virulence of the infected organism infected organism if it is a salmonella staph aureus uh, klebsiella there is a virulence important and then is the host immune system host immune system uh, our immune system is a decrease then infection of the chances chances of the infection increases and the bone vascularity here virulence of the bacteria mainly bacterial adherence resistance to host this, this is not important so much important but the most important is the grass morphology grass morphology mainly if it is the inflammation then inflammatory cells are present with edema and the vascular congestion congestion of the vessels and subperiosteal abscess formation these two things are more important this is the sequestrum this is the involucrum what is the sequestrum inflammation and the dead bone formation and this if dead necrotic bones dead necrotic bone is called as the sequestrum squeeze like squeezing decreasing and the dead necrotic bone formation is the sequestrum and the new bone formation is the involucrum that's why bone in the bone firstly bone degraded then new bone formation occurs this new bone is called as the involucrum sequestrum and the involucrum is the most important here is the grass morphology this is the uh, mainly bone and this part this is the new bone this is the mainly uh, hole and this is the mainly sequestrum and the new bone formation is the involucrum
microscopic feature this is called as questrum this is not most important for us and clinical presentation typical present with the mark intense pain at the involved side at the involving side there is the intense pain and inflammation rhythma swelling warmth and the tenderness system uh, system or the systematic infection is the fever and the rigors symptoms may be walked by the antibiotic used if we use the antibiotics to kill the microorganism symptoms can be revealed, uh, relieved plain x-ray uh, in first cases in uh, uh, normally if the osteomyelitis occurs in first few days there is no sign and symptoms in the x-ray but in the 10th to 14th day there is a new bone formation occurs here that's why bone in the bone but we prescribe the ct scan and the mri here the mri is the most important i have uh, just uh, mri but i want to just show you the mri is for the soft tissues and is very sensitive for the osteomyelitis if uh, if you suspected a patient of the osteomyelitis you may uh, uh, prescribe or the you may given a test for the mri magnetic resonance imaging for the early phase of the bone infection non radiological investigation we have a full blood count and the blood count of the TL, uh, our tlc was raised esr c reactive protein blood culture we have all discussed treatment may be due to the antibiotic treatment uh, treatment of the acute osteomyelitis is mainly non operative we do not operative but surgery may be uh, uh, done uh, surgery is indicated for the drainage of the pus if there is a pus formation due to pyogenic bacteria this is the drainage of the pus in case of the surgery here we will discuss about the osteomyelitis but it is the acute osteomyelitis now we are uh, defining the chronic osteomyelitis if there is a chronic inflammation acute to the chronic form in case of the chronic it mainly uh, infection lasting six week or more than the radiological evidence Squestrum formation and the mainly involucrum is present. I want to discuss osteomyelitis associated with the foreign body. Associated with the foreign bodies and the uh, sometimes foreign bodies may lead to the osteomyelitis. Osteomyelitis from organism myobacterium tuberculosis and uh, peripheral vascular diseases. The most important is the uh, X-ray chronic osteomyelitis of the femur. This is the bone of the femur and a bone in the bone here this is a bone and this is the bone bone in the bone typical example of the chronic osteomyelitis is the bone in the bone but uh, we will discuss not more about the chronic osteomyelitis we have just discussed about the uh, acute osteomyelitis and the tuberculous osteomyelitis which is the most important if in involving the vertebra this is called as the pots disease which is the usml mcqs and this is the mechanism of infection include uh, blood borne infection blood borne infection drag extension from the pulmonary foci into the rib can occur mainly uh, tuberculosis uh, patient if cases of the uh, myobacterium tuberculosis from the pulmonary infection to the lungs to the vertebra moves from the lungs towards the vertebra spread via lymphatic drainage and mainly involve the spine that's why its disease i have discussed is the pots disease microscopic feature because acute in cases of the acute inflammation you may know in cases of the acute inflammation neutrophil come in cases of the chronic inflammation uh, macrophages come then aggregation of macrophages is called as the giant cell formation here this is the giant cell formation in cases of the giant cell formation this is the caseous necrosis uh, mainly tuberculosis is the caseous necrosis that we all discuss this is our case we have discussed a 57 year old man diabetic it was a diabetic and this was acute infection then if it is a diabetic then you will what is the most likely diagnosis because it's most likely diagnosis if it is a diabetic then the organism is the, this is the acute osteomyelitis this is the acute osteomyelitis number second the most common pathogen responsible for infection most common pathogen is the uh, salmonella because it is mainly due to uh, uh, diabetic 
pathogenesis because it mainly you will discuss about the pathogenesis how would you make a diagnosis i have made a diagnosis because of the uh, we are discussing the about the this is the typical case because from last seven days it is acute inflammation it is a diabetic patient fever chills malaise and this is the medial malleolus without healing on the side of the medial malleolus and a chronic ulcer due to the chronic ulcer on the legs area i have discussed but in the investigation esr is raised then is a uh, some is a pathogen is present and the tlc count is raised uh, and uh, uh, hba1c is raised and this typical exam this is a typical case of the x-ray leg there is a necrotic area uh, of the bone and the bone marrow that's why we have uh, diagnosed as the acute osteomyelitis that we all discuss about the osteomyelitis thank you so much jazakallah allah please like and subscribe our channel medicos viewer and remember